Everywhere you shop these days, you're surrounded by glossy modern signs advertising one brand or another. But there's nothing new in all this street promotion. David Stafford's been on the trail of one Torquay man who's single-handedly reviving a great Victorian craft. Dave Smith's at work on the latest project to emerge from his Torquay studio. A hundred years ago, this job would have taken a whole bunch of skilled tradesmen. You'd get a sign writer in to sign write the glass, you'd have an embosser or acid etch the glass, and then the silver would be called in at the end, or the brilliant cutter, to cut and silver this, these panels. Everything was being done by, uh, say, a, a team of five or six people. Whereas I'm trying my best to bring it all together, but it's just me. Dave's talents have made him one of the most sought-after sign artists in the world. He's currently working on three decorated glass panels for the wall of a museum in London's Portobello Road. Here, Jake Berger, the owner, invites punters to evolve, with much happy sampling, their own recipe for gin. When we were putting the place together, the, the museum room downstairs, we very much wanted that to be a, a kind of a, a modern-day replica of the gin palaces of the kind of early part of the 19th century, which back then... Dave's style of work was churned out on an almost industrial basis, I think, but these days, Dave's pretty much the, the last guy left doing it. We've seen pictures of the, of the progress from afar, which Dave has emailed us once in a while, but uh, to see the actual thing going up is going to be amazing. It should look spectacular, I think, and really pull that room together perfectly. The process starts with Dave sketching out designs for the finished work. This is a pretty rough drawing, actually, um, and not a finished drawing, but the centre panel will be here, obviously, and this would be acid etched and, and then painted in a colour, in a vibrant uh, Victorian um, pink colour um, with gilded text. There'll be no cut glass on these two panels, but there'll be other treatments. And the centre panel will be silvered um, and gilded to uh, complement the other two panels uh, to finish off this Victorian look. And this is the centre panel. He works with a range of grindstones, each capable of a different cut for a different pattern. The other wheel, which was a punty wheel, gives you circles. This one gives you just a nice edge, edge cut and, it, and just gives you a a much sharper look to the cut itself. The job requires great precision and a delicate touch. So I'm up to around about sort of four to five hours, I guess, already. So if it goes wrong at this stage, it's not too bad, but it's when you get into around 60, 70 hours, that's when it gets a bit more scary. It'll take three days of cutting before the centre panel is ready for its next stage. Dave's been a sign writer since he left school. Ten years later, he had his own business, mostly serving clients in and around Torquay. People would want us to, you know, make their signs for them um, because they were slightly different, and a bit more interesting than the general, you know, mundane type of signs. But to take things to the next level, he had to look way beyond Torquay to the United States, where he studied at the workshop of glass craftsman Rick Lawson. Probably the number one person to be involved with to develop reverse glass. Dave first put this new reverse glass technique to use in the early 90s on his breakthrough project at Torquay's Clock Tower Pub. The following decade saw a growing demand for his work from major clients on both sides of the Atlantic. One project can take months. He's doing the side panels now for the Ginstitute. 
literally I'm cutting now these into quarters to take up the area of the, of the clear glass that's going to be gilded. From there I'm going to flood the area with distilled water which has a small amount of gelatine inside it. And I'm going to apply the gold directly to that area. Most of Dave's work is done in mirror image on the back of the glass. The backs of these panels, they always look kind of messy and you think, well, this guy doesn't know what he's doing, but um, once you turn them around, they, they give you a different story. Then the work is revealed in all its glory. Glass isn't all he does. Lately, he's been dabbling in the murky world of rock and roll. Rock star John Mayer wanted a retro look for his new album cover. He saw some of Dave's work and called him using the internet from his California home. Someone at Sony said, uh, there's this guy in the UK, his name is uh, David Smith, check out his stuff. And, you know, okay, let's see what it is. I clicked on it and it was uh, some pencil work you had done for, for a tattoo parlor. But, yeah. and, I, and as soon as I saw it, I went... Here we are. The album cover Dave ended up designing just missed out on a nomination for this year's Grammy Awards. Far away from Tinseltown, it's back to work on the finishing touches for the centre panel of the Ginstitute piece. I tend to use um, more of the old period paint because it contains the lead, which gives it a bit more body um, than the... Um, modern paints which just doesn't contain the leads that you need to get the blends on these these letters well, it's looking pretty complete now um, I've got this red to be blended in uh, once that's finished I'll uh, I'll take it to London the work won't be over until all three panels are hanging safely on the Ginstitute walls but before he does that, he has a small delivery to make to one of his other London clients. Then it's across West London to Portobello Road, where Jake is eagerly awaiting the finished glasswork. After months of sketching, cutting, polishing and painting, the three panels are finally in place. Okay, I'm just going to have a stand back and look at that. Wow, that looks great. I'm pleased with that. You pleased with that, Jake? I am one satisfied customer. Amazing job. You are, you are truly are a master craftsman. I think it looks incredible in this room. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. And there it is, hanging on the wall. Indisputable proof that Dave Smith can cut it. <laughs> <laughs>